Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time I'm going to show you how to get through the Magawak Shrine. This shrine is in Zora's Domain, you can't miss it, it's like the teleporting shrine that gets you there. Okay, so this shrine is called the Power of Water, and power is really the hint here. So we are going to pick up this battery over here, and we're going to place it on this platform. And then what we need to do is we need to power this circuit that is currently uh, just sitting dormant near the water wheel. So there is a chest there. I already got the treasure. And so we are going to take this tile that was sitting in the water, and then we're going to flip it vertically. And then we are going to attach it and then grab it and then put it into the water. This way the wheel constantly spins. When the circuit is complete and the battery is attached to the platform, the battery will charge up. What we then want to do is to get the second chest of the shrine. We want to bring the battery over here and don't attach it just yet. Because now we need to get the tile off of the wheel. And the easiest way to do this that I figured out, hence the cut, is to latch on to the wheel itself in the middle, shake that, and then it will break off anything that's attached to it bring that tile over here and then we are going to use it as a platform for the water go ahead and place it somewhere near the middle and then you want to take this ball that's in the water take it out of the water this way it doesn't electrify you then you want to swim to the other side and then you are going to take the other ball and you're going to put it closer to the middle so you don't want to attach it to the platform it'll break off and move the platform you don't want that you just want to place it towards the middle diagonally. Then you're going to take this battery. You're going to attach it to the platform. And then you're going to take the orb that it's next to. And you can actually grab it from this side. Take it there and then stretch it towards the middle. This way the electric current runs through the water. And the current activates the other orb. All right, you get an opal for your troubles there. It's always good to sell. To make it back safely, you just want to take this orb out of the water, place it there, and then swim away from the current, and you should be okay. Once that's done, you want to take the battery and attach it to the platform, and then we're going to bring this back to where we started because we got to recomplete that circuit again and charge the battery one more time. This way we can get to the exit. So once you're over here, you want to shake this loose, and then reattach the tile to the wheel and then start it up again by putting it into the water just like that attach the battery to the platform so it charges again you actually don't have to attach you can just place it there but whatever you want to do okay pick it up and then we are going to bring it over to this elevator and this took me a second to figure it out but there is a platform to attach it to right here you don't want to attach it right away though. You want to instead get in the basket and then attach it. This way uh, the platform raises with you in it. And that's it. This is the end. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, you can do so by becoming a channel member by clicking the join button below this video. You can also leave a super thanks by clicking the heart icon below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.